Mosley, an exclusive writer and composer for the FJH Music Company of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, let me play something for you and then I'm going to talk to you. As I, one of my other videos gives you the beginnings of my life, later on I became an improvisationalist. And uh, I finally did have come up with a good teacher, and she taught me how to read music, but I never really became a good sight reader. No matter how I tried, I didn't seem to have that gift, but God had given me the gift of ear. So ear's really been my, my uh, best friend in music and I always rely on that. I'm still not a fast sight reader but I did learn how to read and I directed choirs and of course uh, some people said I would never re read music at all don't know how to do that. A few people still think that but I couldn't write music if I didn't know how to read and couldn't have directed choirs and done a lot of things that reading does uh, make us more capable, you know, a little more well-rounded but I've always wanted to be a little bit of better sight reader and for years and years, I taught piano. I taught piano for over 30 years and would send a lot of students in the spring to a spring festival and other recitals that I had. And um, I always thought after I'd come home, I'd be motivated to write. I'd go, I can become a writer. Uh, but I would never really take a pencil and staff paper and write anything. So after many years and, and to the late 90s, um, I, I still didn't write. And one festival, I was a little more motivated. And the next week I came home after the festival, and I wrote four or five pieces. And I thought, I think they're pretty good. Really not knowing too much of what I was doing, I had not really done much writing before. I dabbled with it, but didn't do it. Uh, played them for my friend, Glenda Austin, who's a uh, Hal Leonard Willis composer. And she lives in Joplin next to Web City where I lived. And she said, Kevin, I think these are publishable. You should send them in. Sent them to a, a publisher and they sent them back and said, we have too many composers. We can't even look at these. Uh, but they gave me recommendations. Then I sent them to the FJH Music Company. This was in the late 90s. And uh, they accepted three pieces. Of course, I was thrilled. I couldn't believe it. Uh, eventually, they accepted more pieces. And on that first federation list, out of seven pieces that I had published, uh, five of them landed on the Federation list, so I was very fortunate that that happened the first time. So I really got serious about writing and the company became more serious about uh, giving me an exclusive con uh, contract a few years later. One of my first pieces is called Lost Star and uh, it was on the Federation list and I remember uh, the inspiration of that piece. One uh, summer night I was out looking at the sky in front of our house and uh, the, the, the stars were so brightly shining and there were clusters of stars, but then over way isolated, there seemed to be a star all by himself. And being an elementary teacher and a preschool teacher where my background came from, um, I thought, well, how lonely that little star is. I thought somebody could write a children's book about that little star that got lost from the group and how lonely the star is lost. And then I realized the next day, I can, Lost Star, Lost Star, hmm. I think I can write a piano piece. It's very patterned, it's easy, it's out of five, it's in five finger positions, but it moves around where students fit, sound really good and much more capable of playing than they really are. It makes, the, it's a pretty easy piece and, uh, but they move around, but it's very patterned and it can be taught by rote or by note. And uh, I had a piano teacher from Oklahoma and she told me, she said, uh, her name is Mary Head and from Tahlequah. 
and she was one of the first people who came to me and said I love this piece and it made me feel good she said it's it's uh, easy enough to teach it can be taught by rote it can be taught many different ways but even a 13 year old can play it and sound very sophisticated only after a few months of piano lessons I hope you enjoy Lost Star <laughs> And that was Lost Star, and it can be found at FJH Music Company, and go to kevincosler.com, and you can find it, and you can order it immediately. Thank you for listening. Mm -hmm.